Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana is performing quite well. It's currently moving in line with expectations after the breakout above the range. Um, we are yeah, moving in this five wave pattern to the upside. There are two, two pathways I'm following. Um, both were communicated also in the last, one second, in the last video. I wanna take you through these bullish scenarios. And I'm overall looking for higher prices as long as we're holding above the $146.90 level, which is the 61.8 retracement of the rally from the 3rd of October. Let's talk about these two scenarios. First of all, the base case was or is that in the next leg up, which is currently unfolding, we're reaching $208 plus. Um, it's nicely developing into that direction today with some more gains. Um, in the previous update I sent through on Discord for our gold members, it was like several hours, like 12 hours ago or something, <clears throat> 13 hours ago, I highlighted the price could already be working on wave five or five, so to the upside. Ideally, wave three reaches $208 plus, and the price at the time was $187.10. We saw the start of the next leg up towards that $208 level. These are sort of the updates you, you get on an express basis as a gold member, in addition to a lot of other extras. Feel free to check it out. Let's go back to the live chart. We are on our way to that $208 level. Do we reach it? Will we reach it? Good question. At least at the moment, there is no sign of a local top. And the, I mean, it is a volatile space. We've already reached like $201. We're very close, right? Let me take you through the wave count here. The yellow scenario suggests wave one, done. Wave two, done. The third wave is now unfolding. And because we're dealing with choppy sideways structures, or at least it's choppy overlapping structures, I have to assume the move up is a diagonal pattern. So we have waves A and B complete. We're now in the C wave to the upside, which would be a five wave move. In that five wave move, we've completed waves one, two, three, and four, and we're now in the fifth wave. Once this larger degree third wave, which again consists of an ABC structure, is complete, we're looking for a pullback in wave four before wave five starts. So it would be a five wave pattern we are tracking here. And this would be the yellow scenario and the current support for that internal yellow wave four is located between $166.11 and $146.96. So this is standard support for a fourth wave in a possible diagonal pattern. Um, ideally, we don't see the price break below $146.96. Of course, it could break below it, but that would make other patterns, other structures more likely. Therefore, there has to be some kind of a support area that acts as a yeah, as support for the price in this bullish scenario. So that's the yellow scenario. We have to see where the third wave really forms a top because as I explained, $208 is the first ideal target for a third wave. Can easily go higher if we push higher, 230 is the next level. I have to say that would then look very much extended for an internal fifth wave in wave C of three. In that case, probably the green scenario, green colored scenario will take over. And how does that work? Again, it is pretty much the same count, but we would be dealing with an aggressive extension within that third wave. The third wave would have a different subwave structure. And that's always the problem. It's not a problem. It's just the case with these diagonal patterns. If you are familiar with Elliott wave, then you know that in impulses, impulsive structures, we are typically, we tip, we, you know, there is only one impulse really, right? There's one type of impulse and these impulses always look the same, <laughs> you know, and you've, you ask for analysts and they always give you the same wave count. But when we're dealing with diagonal patterns, the structure is slightly different. It is choppy. It requires a lot of interpretive muscles. So experience comes into play here. And usually you have more than one inter valid in interpretation for a diagonal pattern, right? So that's why the green scenario is possible, which also suggests we have a wave one and wave two in place, but we're now in the third wave, which would be an extension because you can either say, okay, this was wave A and B as I did in the yellow count, we're now in the C wave. But what if this was 
A, B, C already in wave A. This was just a B wave pullback. We're now in the C wave up and it's gonna extend more directly in a larger five wave move. But again, it shouldn't happen in a straight line. So there should likely be some pullbacks along the way, which means if we really zoom into the short term and you can see here that the market likely forms this kind of five wave pattern to the upside, in the yellow wave count, this would end something. It would end wave five of C of three and then a wave four should follow. Whereas in the green scenario, this five wave pattern should complete green wave one, then green wave two pullback should occur before we push higher in green wave three, green wave four, green wave five, and I just have to shift it into position. And then the larger degree third wave would complete up there. It would allow for probably that move to move closer to the $300 region. So either way, I'm, I'm going to give you the support area for the green wave to pull back as well once we have a price top in place in green wave one. But it's too early for that at the moment, yeah, because overnight we're like they're going to push a little bit higher, possibly to 208 or a little higher. There's absolutely no evidence for a top in place. What would be the first indication for a top, right? What would be the first indication of a local price top? Well, it would be a break below that intraday low, you could say, or that last swing low here. Um, at around $185.80. So as long as we are holding above that level, there's absolutely no evidence for a top in the very short term. For anybody who's really looking at very short term movements, you could even say that there is um, a case to be made. We could uh, take that $194.30 level as last swing low. So this is really on the micro level, the next key level to watch um, against which we can focus on higher more directly. But you know, any more micro counting doesn't make any sense. You know, this is already very, very small wave degree we're tracking, but it's moving in a great, you know, it's following. It's following the uh, proposed roadmap, which is great. And soon we should come to a situation where a pullback starts and then I will add support for green wave two, adjust support for the yellow wave four, and then we'll, we will get an understanding which wave count it is, depending on how deep the pullback is. That's the update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And also, if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership for additional updates, trading view, live chart access to all these charts. Um, we have a live stream again on Sunday. There's going to be an interesting topic. Last Sunday, we covered the US election. So pretty much the forecast unfolded as expected. So obviously, we didn't know who's going to win. But the idea was, you know, with Trump winning, there's going to, you know, we would get volatility and probably some positive sentiment in the market. Also, um, if you're interested on the weekend, I'm going to send out again our free newsletter. You'll find the link in the description. You can sign up for additional updates for cryptos that I don't cover on YouTube. That's the update. Thank you very much. Bye bye.